Hello everybody, Green Man Bookseller here and this is another book review video in which I'll be talking about The Book Thief by Marcus Sizak. I hope I pronounced that correctly. It's set in Germany during the early years of the Second World War and it follows the story of a young girl called Liesel who's taken in by foster parents. Um, is basically following her over the course of a few years and there's quite a few other characters in there I mean uh, her and her foster parents they take in a Jewish lad and they have him hidden in the basement and it's basically all about Liesel about her interactions with her foster parents, sort of the interactions with her and the foster parents and the, the Jewish lad that they've got hidden in their basement and their interactions with various other characters. I mean she's, uh, as you can see she's the book thief so it's all about how she, part of the story is about how she acquires books and learns to read and enjoyment she gets from books. Uh, this is quite a big book as you can see. It's not fast paced, it's a bit more of a slower paced story and that's quite a good thing I thought for this book because all of the characters within the story they get a bit of quite a nice bit of development. So there's quite a bit of development with Lisa, how she sort of goes from being a, a bit fearful of being fostered to over time sort of coming to love her foster parents. And there's quite a bit of depth to the story about the Jewish lad that's hiding in the basement and the implications it has for Liesel and her foster parents, especially when it comes to air raids, because the basement that her foster parents have was deemed not to be deep enough for protection when there are air raids. So obviously when air raids happened, her and her foster parents had to go to a neighbor's house to like hide in that of the shelter from the air raid but of course they couldn't take the sort of the Jewish lad so leave him behind so there was a bit of development there sort of how they sort of dealt with the, the fact that sort of leaving this German sort of Jew, German Jewish lad in the basement and sort of how he coped with it all and it was sort of followed his story a little bit and so got to see a bit of character development with him uh, another of the side characters was the mayor's wife. Liesel's foster mother, she took in washing to sort of supplicant, supplement the income. And one of the customers was the mayor and his wife. And the mayor's wife had a, a library, a book, which Liesel sort of visited quite a bit. And so the mayor's wife, she had an interesting bit of character development. And it was, I found it very engaging and interesting just following this story of all these different characters and seeing their character development. And it was very, very gripping for me. And it was only towards the end of the story that I realised just how, for what about, want of a better way of putting it, how emotionally involved I'd become in these different characters. Because at the end of the story, there are some characters that die. I'm not going to say anything other than the fact that not all the characters in the story survived to the end 
And as I was getting to the end, there was, when there was some specifically one character that died, I'm not going to say anything, but there was one character that died towards the end of the book. And when that particular character died, I was like, no, no, please, why is, why is this character died? No, like, make it not so, take it back, please don't let this character die. And it was at that point I fully appreciated just how emotionally involved I'd become in these characters over the course of the book. And for me, when a story make, draws me in so much that I become emotionally involved in the characters like that, that to me says that it's a very good book. It's a very, very good book. I mean, yes, this this really drew me in and I almost felt like I was there on the journey with these characters. Uh, this story, it's... What Marcus Suzak has done is he's told it from the point of view of Daph. Daph is a character and Daph's narrating the story. Now, for the most part, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of seeing Daph as a character in stories. It doesn't do anything for me, that particular trope, for the most part. But in The Book Thief, the way Marcus Zizak wrote Daph as a character, it worked for me. And this is probably one of the few books where Daph as a character actually works for me and I actually find that particular trope to be an engaging one. I, I, think, I think the author, Marcus Isaac, I think he did a very good job of portraying Daph as a character. So that was a big plus for me, you know, cause like, like I just said. For the most part, I'm not a, a, all a big fan of that particular trope. So, th this story worked on many levels for me. It really was an engaging, intriguing, entertaining read. And yes, I would, I would thoroughly recommend it. Now, I know there is a film being done about this book. And I'm some a lot of the times I read the book and then watch the film or I watch the film and then read the book. And I can enjoy both. And neither format spoils the other for me. But with the book thief, I've got a feeling that if I watch the film I might not enjoy it. It might kind of spoil things for me, if that makes sense. I think because I thoroughly enjoyed the book so much, I'll probably be watching the film and be just highly critical of it. And I, I think I'll probably end up sort of watching the film and just hating the film because it's like too different and because I enjoyed the book so much, if that makes sense. Anyway, I'm probably waffling a little bit now. But yes, I would say if you're going to choose one or the other between the film and the book, I'd say go for the book. <laughs> Possibly easy for me to say consider I haven't watched the film. You know, so I mean, the film might be good. But anyway, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end by saying the book thief. It's worth reading. It really is. Thumping, great big thumbs up for me about it. Well, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. And in the meantime, stay safe. Happy reading.